Okay, hold on. All right. So I have, I have them both up. This is the original. And then here's the one that we worked on or that you finished. So what, what I see is, I don't know if you see it, but there are some parts that are a little dark, but it's all good. Cause like we said, nobody's going to see this image, the original. So when they see this one, so it's not a big deal. But I shaded it a little bit already. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna turn the layer on so you can see what I did. So that's that's what I did in Photoshop. Just to show you that even though it's dark, it it's it's not that bad. It's actually good. Um you just need to take it further. It still needs a bunch of work. More darks, um, like some mid, a lot of mid tones, and some light tones. And then, if you want, you can add some background shading if you want. But yeah, before, after. So I just, I added. This is what I was talking about. The rim. This is the rim of the eye, and then this this area right here. See, so you left it all blank, and then right here, there's there's a shade right there. So there's a shade everywhere, except I would leave this the skin, and then this the skin, kind of like how you left it, and then this area right here isn't that dark. Ha! Oh, I'm recording a video. Yeah, and uh, right here you did it. <clears throat> way too dark there should be there should be a transition of light when you squint down and then like this is non-existent i don't know this is this shading doesn't even exist i don't even see it there's some shading here there's nothing here this is this is skin maybe there but no i wouldn't even have done it and then this looks like a highlight this looks like it should be skin but there's actually a tone because if you if you look from here to here, you'll see that this is lighter than this. So if this is skin, that means that this has a tone. So it's pretty much kind of like how I do everything. It's like, you know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes you, you can break it, but for the most part. So this is just one big light area and then all this right here. Like this is too dark, I'll show you. So that's what I did. I just added a bunch of shading everywhere. And then I added some white highlights. Oh, there's the background. Some white highlights, just nothing too crazy. I don't like to get too crazy with it. If I was gonna put white highlights, that's all I would do. Just highlight the eyes and the important stuff. Get a little pop. And then I did this layer over here. So these are the areas that are too dark. Like I said, that, this part of the nose too is dark and then the forehead. And then this area too is too dark. I know I darkened it a little bit right there too, but you already had it too dark to begin with. So I just, I was trying to fix it. And so here's, here's with that corrected, kind of. So I lightened them up just to show you. If they weren't that dark, it could have looked like this. So it, as you can see, like this is, I mean, to me, this is good. It's not too dark. None of this is too, is too dark. Even if I turn off the highlight and what I've done so that's what you did and then those areas that that uh so this is just what you did and then the, there I here I adjusted these areas where you went too dark with like a skin tone 
And even, I mean, it, if you would have just done that, that would have been, I guess, that's not too bad. But no, you want to take it further. You want, you want it to look as close to this as possible, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. So those areas were the ones that were too dark, but that's not bad. That's fine. So it could look like this. 